and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to actually add some battle techniques to our enemy. So it's not going to be the best then it'll probably slowly get better and better. But at the moment if you walk up to the surgeon he'll start firing at you. Like so. So he's firing at you. Obviously he's a complete failure at missing. We need to make it better. But then if you go up close to him it just sits there firing at you. And then if you come away he'll forget you and then find you again so we need to give him some battle techniques so the first thing we're going to do is if we go up close and he's attacking us then we're going to make him try to pull away probably not fast because you probably can't walk backwards fast I don't know probably I don't know but anyway so he's going to walk back and then maybe I don't know add a random uh, random sometimes he'll walk back but sometimes he'll turn and run away kind of thing so it, it might work might be cool it should be cool to have a look at so we're going to go to NPCs, civilian, any single one, and open up land enemy AR. So we have our script here, and first thing I'm going to do is actually open up the entity properties as well, or entity starts, and we're going to actually in, well increase some of them. So we don't need that, we need that one. So we have field of view here, perfect. But um, at the moment, if we look at the default character for land enemy AI, when we find the attack one here, it's less than 30 and when they was stopped attacking us we were still clearly in range of them so we're going to make it so you have to get quite far out of way but not so far out of way that they'll just automatically find you so we're going to actually increase the entities here so i'm just going to only going to well we'll just do it here so field of view will say default 100 so it's quite far away and i'll just literally put that on for every single one and if you don't know what field of view is, it's basically just like your camera. So if we go to our game view here, you can see, you can see all the way up to the edge. But if we were going to take field of view down, you would see that we can see even further. That's not the right field of view I'm talking about. I'm all talking about the clipping planes, but hey. So if we drag it closer to us, you can see, we can see further and less and less away. So if we drag it in so close, we can now no longer see over there. So we can only see what we can see, and that's by default 1000 if you didn't know. Yeah, so you can set it as far or as less as you want, but we still can't see all the way. That's what we're basically editing for these. So they can see to 100, which is probably about to here, which is quite good, but it's not brilliant, obviously. But we need to test it. So now, we do have their ID up here. So what we're going to do is link that up to their field of view ID, pretty much. So here, we'll say what we've already said right here. It already does it for us. <laughs> Perfect. So we're going to add an if statement to this as well. So this basically says if ignore chart is true or it's in range. I mean it's not out, it's out of range. So we're going to copy this line and we're going to paste it in here. If character.range.magnitude is less than field starts like that. So if it's less than their field of view 100 then they can see us. And then, so that's obviously 100, then they'll detect, well, like, are you an enemy, are you a kind of, are you a stalk kind of thing, and stuff like that. So, we need to add them a battle tactic, so their battle tactics will go in here. So at the moment, they simply say this one. Um, timer tick down, fire, and look at the character, pretty much. And we'll just say character transform dot position, so that it'll look directly at us, hopefully. So it's just a little tweet. So let's begin to add a couple of battle tactics. So in here, where is it? There. So first thing I'm going to do is actually check if the character is up close in the face. It's like, whoa, get out of my face, kind of. So after all this, and it's called it, down here, we're going to type if starts, and we'll just put here um, battle tactics. So we could eventually just script it into different functions, so um, battle tactic 1 is Ganga, he walks up and duh, 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 come up into your face, number 2, cop, he runs away, I don't know, stuff like that. Um, battle takes this bit, we're just going to do a couple for now, hopefully. So this first thing I'm going to try and do is if he gets in your face, he'll walk back and keep shooting, he'll just try to keep out your distance, but then he'll chase you if you get out, if you like move away, kind of thing. Simple enough, so we'll just put... Um, move back and chase so he's always trying to keep this one position so he's always trying to keep 10 next to you so he's got a good shot at you kind of thing 
So if it's less than nine, so then if it's not 10, it's nine or less, then in that case, he wants to be moving back. So now that we've gave him um, ability, ability to walk, we basically need to say, um, well, go back. We need to give them opposite force. So if you imagine a weighing scale, one side you've got positive, one side you've got negative. At the moment we're piling all the force on positive, so it's pushing down. But we need to make it push down on the negative side instead of this side. And it's really, really simple. How would you get a minus force? You put minus there. So in front of range, you put minus. That's it. They'll now officially move away from you. They will, they still want to kill you, but they'll move away from you. So, and then another error I saw is this one. Start, stop, respect for player is 9. It does not work. Because if the stats is less than 30, if it's less than 9, it's not going to work. So instead, we need to get the character range, which is the actual thing where it's supposed to do. So if it's less than 9, I think 9's a bit, mm, we'll say it's less than 20. So we're still quite far away. So 100, they still see us. But 20, if we're up close into them, then they're going to try and walk away. But they'll still stop, because the reason we're keeping that there is to come down, read it, stop. Right, stay still. But then it'll come down and say, right, 20, move away. And then it's got all this bit here and all this bit down here to read before it stops it again. So it's going to move, and it doesn't look jerky either. So it's really, really clever. So we can play it, and all we're going to do is walk up to him, literally. He'll stand there, we'll walk up to him and be like, hey, come and get us. And he'll walk away. Then after that, we have make the tactic that if we're for like more than 20, he tries to chase us until he gets 20, then he stops. So, yeah. So we'll go and see him. He sees us and he's like, die. Perfect. We really need to make that aiming better. I can get it if I like jump up and go in, as you can see. I can get him then. But... So we're going to walk up to him and you'll see he'll begin to slowly walk away. There you go. He does not want us to get him, look. And he'll keep going until he stops. Hey, come here. No. Hey, come here. No. So as you can see, it works really well. And what's the error we have? Uh, collisions on Dread 1. Ignore that. We don't need that one. Oh, that's just a bullet. Ignore that. Yeah, that's just an error. But anyway, so he now walks away. But the field of view is still... What did we set it to? If I go... Do, 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 do Miss Scripps. It's a hundred, so we've got all that eighty to play with, so we can really fine tune it. So maybe if we're at sixty, he'll run sideways to try and like um, flank us. If you don't know what flanking is, basically means you get a distraction from one end and run around the other end to get him around the back. So we could do that, and it would work really well. But hey, why not? So move back and chase. So if it's less than twenty, run away. Else. Now what should we do? So we need him to chase us if it's more than 60. So if it's more than 60, and you'll see what this is in a minute, we'll paste this after it, and less than uh, 90. In fact, we'll say 80. So if it's more than 60, but less than 80, he'll follow us to try and chase us. But then after that, we could put, maybe not now, because I need to work on pathfinding, but maybe um, th that 20 left on the 100 is trying to find us. And then anything after that is lost us. He's just come completely gone. So we can make him try to search for us. So it would work. But then, so it'll chase us then. And then here, I want to do, if it's more than uh, 25, but less than 55, then in here we need him to do something. So maybe go around us or something. So break it down logically again. We need him to literally go around us, rotate around us. Or what about if I showed you this word, orbit us. Now we all know what orbiting is. It circles it. And we all know if you watch my space tutorials, we have an orbiting script. But some people don't watch my space tutorials, so I'm going to rewrite it. But it's really, really simple. So let's type it. It's simply transform dot. Error. And by this time, he will be, what you call it, he won't be moving because it's not less than 20, but it's not more than 60, so he'll be stood still from here. So, 
You could even put that in an else statement if you like. I'm not going to do it. But anyway, transform dot rotate around. This is how to make it orbit, by the way. And we're going to put what do we need? So we need character, which is that one. Tick. I don't know if the speeds are going to be the same with this. We might have to play around with the speeds. So character, because that's the one we're looking at. And I think it is transform position. It might be just transform. I can't remember. Vector three dot up. So it's the y axis we're rotating in like a wheel and the axis in the middle and then we put the speed so that is entity walk speed times time dot delta time so hopefully that should make him rotate around us so ballot tactics it might work it's worth a try but also before we play it i'm going to add a little print statement to help us out otherwise we get a really weird error well not an error we're not going to get an error as such it's like testing purposes and that is crashed so we're going to come back to our script and up here we're simply going to type prime well print and then this one is based off character range so we'll print character range dot magnitude so then we can always see how far the character is away from them and then we can just judge it so if it's less than 60 remember he rotates us but if it's less than 20 he comes closer something like that it's really weird but at the moment it's only going to rotate one way and just keep going one way so we'll eventually add some randoms to it so as you can see he's coming up closer to us oh that's pointless the bar's down there so he sees us as you can see he's trying to Falcon jump on fire punch. how dare he so <coughs> obviously we need a side walking script and probably slowing down a little bit too but as you can see he's trying to walk away and if we get closer He's still going to try and dodge our fire, but now we seem to have just hit a spot where he'll stand still and fire. So 20, as you can see here, ooh, it's just, so we'll say 20 for that, but we'll say more than 21. Yeah, so he's always going to be doing something, always. Then we can try again. So that little spot there was the five between where we can't do anything. So unless he goes into decimals, he's not going to do anything. But it doesn't really matter. Mm, it add more life like to it, if you think. So basically, the way I'm trying to think about it is what would you do or copy other games like I'm currently doing. But as you can see, he's, he's moving around as he's like, no, you are not getting me. So we go up to him. As you can see, no, leave me alone, leave me alone. Hey, go away. But then he rotates around us trying to dodge our fire. So that's what we're going to do for this tutorial. Next tutorial, I don't know. We may continue with this AI. We may not. Battle tactics for you. It's actually really simple, isn't it? Come on, we all can admit that. So in next tutorial, I'll show you how to randomize between battle tactics, maybe. Or we'll add another one because it was quite kind of cool. Three if statements and we've got him running around us and running away from us. Really simple. So, thank you for watching, I really hope you liked it. Our AI script is 104 lines, still basic, but hey, it works. You saw, well, if I had proper attacks, we might not be able to get him. But hey, thank you for watching, I really hope you liked it. Please hit the thumbs up if you like it, else hit the dislike button, I don't mind. Comment why you hit the dislike button, though, so I know how to improve. Join my Facebook group, and I'll see you next time.